Ugh. I'm going to have nightmares about conga dancing for months. I swear, if I hear it's raining men ever again, I will kill the closest person I can find. I, like, don't see what you guys were so upset about. That cruise was, like, totally awesome. Yeah, you guys need to learn to be more positive, like Steffi. Oh my god, they so do. I mean, like, everything with them is all uber-duper serious and junk, and I'm just like, whatever, and I mean, like... Steffi! Ugh. Right, now that she's shut up, here's the plan. Jinzo and I will head to the cabins and prepare everything. The rest of you will head to Gadgetzad and wait for those fools to arrive with Eric. Observe their movements and report any developments to me via the magic rings of communication I've given you. Oh, magic. Oh, for darkness sake, someone snap her out of it. Hey, Steffi, there's a sale on Prada. What? Where? Thank you. Now... In order to ensure those idiots make it to the caverns, here is what I want you to do. Ugh, oh, Deuce, give me some water. He shot a man at the Mexican border. Dude, how many times are you gonna make that joke? Would you rather I went with a horse with no name? Why would Smelly Dead Friend go with horse that has no name? Couldn't he just name horse? Goliath, a horse with no name is name of song. Oh, wait. How can the horse that has no name be name of Song? Wouldn't Song have no name then? No, Goliath. is name of... <sighs> Never mind. It's too hot to explain until head hurts. If you say so, I'll just sit back and admire scenery. <sighs> think I should just mind blast him? I don't think there'd be much of a mind to blast. Good point. Should we just kick his ass then? In this heat? <laughs> I'm beginning to appreciate some aspects of being undead. The heat doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, but the smell of you is making my eyes water. He's right, you know. You're starting to smell like a dwarven outhouse stuffed with old roast beef and feet. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Hairball. You want to check the map so we can get moving, please? Fine, hang on a sec. Oh my. Now I see why ladies like him so much. Eh, I've seen bigger. Uh, I mean... Sorry about that. I'd forgotten I'd taken my armor off before transforming. You know, I throw up now, but I don't have any liquid in my stomach. Deuce, conjure me up some water. Damn it, Ellers, I'm a mage, not a vending machine. He is mage? I thought he worked in chocolate factory for Wonka person. <sighs> Always with the short jokes. He's all right, Deuce. Goliath is still very short in some places, too. Oh, <laughs> I see what you are implying. But I will have you know that my face tentacles are bigger than most people's. No, Goliath... I meant your... <sighs> Behold, the caverns of time at last. It's about damn time. Oh, come on, Jinzo. Life is about the journey. Think of all the wonderful experiences you've had since... All right, enough with the greeting card wisdom. If I wanted that, I could just go watch the Lifetime Network. Fine. Hey, Darim, I've been wondering something. Oh, now what? Well, why did you pick this particular set of magical items? What do you mean? Well... Aren't there magical items out there that do the same thing, but are easier to get? Unfortunately, no. So my choices were the Artifacts of Domination, or some notebook that kills people when you write their name in it. But I thought that last one seemed a bit far-fetched. So, what now, boss? Now we set a trap and wait for the others to fall into it. <laughs> Oompa, loompa, doompa, dee, die. I am Goliath from Drenai. <laughs>